Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. We got an interesting one today. There's a new secret layer coming out, as if no one knew that was going to happen eventually. But this one is a deck. Dun, dun, dun. So before we get started, don't forget comment, like, subscribe. Uh, links in the description. We got giveaways happening this month and next. Get in on them. It's free. You ain't got to be a member. But if you want to be a member... You can get into member-only stuff, including the Discord and all other kinds of sweetness. So, now's a good time to join. I mean, it is Christmas and all. Well, okay, it's Thanksgiving, but, I mean, the fat man's hanging outside the window and he's staring in very creepily, uh, waiting for me to put this turkey away. But anyway, um, so, like I mentioned, new secret layer alert. And it's not just a secret layer, it's a secret layer deck. And these decks have normally been home runs. So, what is it? Well, it's called 20 Ways to Win. So, um, this deck in particular has 20 Ways to Win. Um, which, some of them, I'm going to be honest with you, are kind of easy. Uh, however, number four here we see is... Uh, forgot your sunscreen when using Approach of the Second Sun. So, Approach of the Second Sun, if you didn't know, was a white and six sorcery. When you cast it, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you gain seven life, and if this card goes in, how far down? Um, oh, seventh from the top, and if you cast two Second Suns, you automatically win the game. Um, so, very interesting. Um, was it a real big card there for a while? And in Commander, it's kind of hard to get this to go off. But it looks like this particular deck they're going to put out as a Commander deck is going to have 20 different ways to win. So number four is Approach of the Second Sun. And I got to be fair, um, this card's pretty sweet looking. And I don't know if that's a cat or a trash panda holding some eggs sunny side up, but I'm down. I'm definitely down. I like food. Anyway, so we have this one. Uh, there are three more, obviously, one, two, and three, but they're kind of the easy one. You know, if you want you want the job done, right, uh, you win by 21 commander damage to the last opponent. Obviously, we know that. Old Reliable, win by reducing your opponent's life total to zero. Number two, of course. And number three, the library is closed. When the last opponent attempts to draw from a library, they lose. So those are the three normal win conditions. Uh, they've posted a, a um, they've posted the second sun as the fourth. Uh, now's a good time to start going through the motions of what do you think the other sixteen <laughs> win conditions are going to be? Uh, we know it can't be coalition victory because that's banned, and probably rightfully so. But we do get to see that there are two more cards in this commander deck so far. Uh, we have Goshinta of Life's Origin. This is a shrine, so clearly there's going to be shrines in this deck, and I'm sure one of the win conditions is going to be the shrine condition, which is, I think, a shrine of every color or some shenanigans. Um, but anyway, Goshinto is um, a green and three. I know I'm probably butchering the name. You gotta. It's, it's a group thing that I play with. Bear with me. So green and three for this three four legendary enchantment creature shrine uh, through Wooberg, which is you know white blue black red green. You tap return target enchantment card and graveyard to the battlefield. Not bad. Uh, whenever life's origin or another non-token shrine you control enters, you get to create a one one colorless shrine enchantment creature token. Um, which to be fair is a. Pretty wild when you're running a shrine deck. There's only so many shrines you can have <laughs> unless you start casting enchantments and just making shrines as one ones. So yeah. Um, obviously next to that we have the good old soul ring, which um, I'm not sure what that art is, but God, it looks familiar. Somebody help me in the comment section. I don't know what that's from. Uh, bounty within this golden ring is the arcane power to purchase tasty treats. God, why is that so familiar? Jesus, somebody help me. It's late and I'm tired. Um, but anyway, so I'm sure there's going to be a condition to win with the shrines. 
Um, and maybe that'll be number five. It would really suck if they kind of drug that one out since they showed us a shrine. But anyway, um, it's going to be interesting what this deck looks like. Now, as I said before, normally the commander decks from Secret Lair, you know, being all foil and all that good jazz, are normally pretty beef. Um, however, with this one having 20 ways to win, ooh, don't really know. However, it could be really cool. Like, I mean, let's be honest, a deck that can win 20 different ways sounds like a meme, but also sounds like a hell of a good time. Just putting that out there. So, uh, I'm not sure when this drops, um, and I'm kind of getting the impression that they're going to reveal a card a day, which, if that's the case, I might just turn these into short videos, uh, because you don't need 10 minutes of me stroking the old secret layer ego uh, deck box thing because you shouldn't stroke your box. I'm going to leave that right there. Anyway, uh, I might turn this into a short uh, video to cover this one. If I'm going to show one card a day, um, and that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. There's plenty of other content to make as soon as I figure out what the hell that is. Um, but I'll go look, I swear. Now, since we're on the topic of Secret Lair, uh, as I was uh, dipping around as I do on the internet, you know, going down rabbit holes and, you know, forgetting that I need to sleep at night. But anyway, um, I found out some Secret Lairs are actually still up for sale, which I found was odd. And I don't just mean new ones because, well, we know Marvel is a shit show and there's none of that available. Uh, but some of the older ones before Marvel are now up on the website again, which I find odd because I don't think they were there before Marvel. But maybe I looked at it wrong. But anyway, let's take a quick look at secret layers that are actually still available if you actually want them. So, we have the Secret Layer Dungeons & Dragons 50th Anniversary Death in the Eyes of the Beholder 2, uh, non-foil. Uh, probably not the greatest one, but I will say, like I mentioned before, love the art. Very cool. E&D, what do you expect? I'm a fanboy. Uh, so it's kind of cool that's still on there, I think. Uh, and then we have the Showcase for Duskmorn, um, which is okay, non-foil. Tome of the Ancestral Sorceress. We talked about this one before. Um... Yeah, I didn't think it's going to be very popular, and it's probably not going to ever be sold out. Um, here is more Dungeons & Dragons Secret Layer from 50. It's uh, Death in the Eyes of the Beholder 1, again, non-foil. Um, and then we have the actual uh, Death in the Eyes of the Beholder 2 foil edition is actually available. Cool, like the foils. Uh, I like two better than one. The only thing about one is I really like this one card right here. The art on that is just so slamming. But... Those are available. Uh, there are others, so just wait. There's more. Now, Cabin with Everything Bundle and Cabin with Bundle Foils is not in, but the Night Swim Bundle non-foil edition is available. Uh, that's all the Ghost, but that's uh, two of the Ghostbusters along with the Duskborn one, which has uh, big hits like Dothy Horror and so forth and so on. Uh, and it's been marked down $5, which doesn't bode well for the price of this one moving forward if they're already marking it down. So, yeah. Which is also sad because I really like the Ghostbuster one. I really wish it was in more demand. I, and not because I want to sell mine. It's just because I, I feel disrespected. Uh, because Ghostbusters, especially the cartoon, deserves better than this. But anyway... So with that, we have the uh, foil version of the uh, Astral Sorceress, if you didn't guess. Uh, we have Monstrous Magazine Foil Edition, which is a $5 discount, which is the full, the full art poster cards of Monsters, which I thought would be a big seller. Um, this is uh, saying not so much. Uh, Secret Layer Miku uh, Japanese Foil Edition uh, is apparently available. Uh, find that weird. Normally, this is one of the first ones that sells out, so maybe the secret layer with Miku is just not as cool. I mean, it's a lot of Planeswalkers. I mean, fair, they're not a lot of good Planeswalkers, but Planeswalkers nonetheless, just saying. Um, and of course, like we just saw in the other one, there's some horror ones. Obviously, the two Ghostbuster ones in foil, which again, I feel 
I feel slighted. They deserve more respect than that. Uh, and Chucky foil editions also in here. I find kind of odd, but to be fair on Chucky, I'm not downplaying Chucky. I think Chucky's great. I grew up with Chucky. It was a cool thing, but it is kind of a cult classic like the Evil Dead. Not as popular as the Evil Dead, but it is what it is. So, not so surprised by Chucky, although I am kind of surprised the foil edition is the only one left. Um, and really upset that the Ghostbuster foil ones are left. Just, it disrespect my boys like that. I mean, Ghostbusters deserve better. I mean, look at, look at this sweetness. And this sweetness, mmm. And this sweetness, them pretty teeth. Toofers, toofers. Anyway, so there you have it, guys. That's what's going on with Secret Lair, and stay tuned for more of the new Secret Lair deck coming out. And who knows? Maybe there'll be enough that a couple of us might actually get to buy one. Maybe. Probably not. Definitely not. It's going to be a shit show. But hey, we can always dream. Till next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you cross from the game table. <laughs>